Hey, what's up my fellow Vikings? I'm Ironside Gamer and I am endeavouring to find all of the secrets of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, River Raids and their three related quests have been with us for a few days now and it's a lovely little addition to the game. If you haven't given this a go yet and have completed the main storyline, get on it, it's a blast. It's recommended that your level is 400 to start River Raids, so I'd say don't try these out until you're at least a level 200. And as mentioned by your shipmate Van and noted in your quests, there are various pieces of St George's armour that are scattered throughout England's waterways, but where can you find them? Now I would begin your adventure on either the River X or the River Seven. I'd recommend the River X as it's smaller, but you're cool. You'll notice at the beginning you can only carry 200 points worth of raid gear, so make sure you spend all those points on expanding how much gear you can carry. You're going to need the space. Now of course, here comes the tricky part. All of the gear you can find, aside the sword, aren't in the same location for all players. It clearly states that they can be found in large military locations, and I'll show you where I found mine, but be aware, it may not be there for you. One tip I can offer is to ignore the smaller camps you see and go for the larger ones marked on the map. You can kind of see the large outlines on the mini-map to give you an idea. Now, as to where I found the gear. On the River X, the first piece I found was St George's Hood, located here in the Eastern Fortification. I'd be surprised if you also didn't find it here, given the River X is the smallest place to raid. On the complete other side of the map, at the Western Fortification, I then found St George's Shield, arguably the coolest piece of gear you can find. Again, given the size of the River X, I'd be surprised if it wasn't here, so do let me know in the comments if you found it somewhere else. Once you've got the first two pieces, head back to Van to drop off your supplies and then head to the River Severn. And once you've arrived, the next piece I found was St George's Braces, located in the Eastern Fortification. I then found St George's Trousers in the Severn Outpost. These pieces aren't anything special, but they're still part of the quest, so just get on with it. And upon finding these first four pieces of St George's armour, you'll have completed the first two quests, which leaves you to find the clues in the River X and the River Severn. This quest is called the Legacy of St George. Now, I was a little confused at this point, and I actually wondered do I need to do this quest, considering I just found the first four pieces of armour, but this actually sets up the next quest to then find the final two items. I think they're just trying to make it tricky. The clue I found in the River X I found in the Northern Monastery, and then I found the River Seven clue at the Excansia Monastery. I have a feeling these are fixed places as opposed to random, as they aren't marked on the map the same way as gold chests. Keep spamming your Odin site to locate the white mark, but they'll definitely be hidden at religious locations in the River X and Seven, and then you'll find them on church tables. If you can, try and grab at least one of them while visiting the River X or Seven, just to save you time. Like I said, spend your supplies initially with Van and expand your hull. This way you can spend more time looking for loot and picking up supplies, rather than heading back and forth between Ravensfort and the rivers. The screen loading time is also insane. Upon finding the clues and heading back to Ravensthorpe, Van will then introduce you to the largest river, the River D. Head there, and then let's go find the final pieces. The next piece I found was St George's Armour, located for me at the Hillview Outpost. I think the treasures in the River Dee are going to be the hardest to locate, but fingers crossed it's in the same place for you. Now next up we have the most hilarious and my personal favourite item, St George's Helm. At first look it looks a bit like a red cardboard box, but upgrade it it looks absolutely badass and reminds me of a gladiator's helmet. I found this in debris, but as I said, it may not be there. And next in the River D is St George's Sword, the only item in these quests which is clearly marked, of course, right at the end of the bloody river. This spot is called Diva Vitrix, and there are quite a few guards here, and a boss who's using the sword. No problem here though, I was actually disappointed that my own Yom's Vikings killed him. And there you have it gang, that's the way I found all of St George's armour and completed the River Raid quests. How cool does this armour look? It's not the strongest gear in the game, but it's definitely one of the coolest. Van actually mentioned that there may be other special loot hidden, but I imagine they'll add more rivers in the next updates. 
and then hopefully in the future they'll add entire new countries that you can explore. Wales, Ireland, Scotland, even going to France are potential avenues that they could look into.